Our next movie, Wolfen, sounds like it might be another werewolf picture, like it belongs on a double bill, maybe, with the howling. But actually, this is an uncommonly serious new thriller that, of, of all things, it's about ecology, the territorial imperative, American Indians, and real wolves. Wolfen opens with a bizarre murder. Three people have been killed in a park, and the city morgue technicians can't figure out what could have caused the strange nature of their wounds. Inflicted wounds similar to the B. Saperstein murder case, 1970. Oh, dude. The old jogging trip, huh? Six months annual bionic shed the 20 pounds marathon result. Sound mind, sound body. You got to get into chemicals. They keep you going. The body's just going to malfunction on you one way or another. Yeah, tell me about it. Ain't this a shame? Bizarre, man. It's almost severed a head. It was instantaneous? It was instantaneous. You see the chicken run around with his head cut off? And yeah, nobody ever thinks about the head. During the French Revolution, when they chopped the heads off, they quick pick them up out of the basket and look them in the face. But most went out right away in shock. Every fifth head or so was alive, wide awake. Eyes blinking, mouth trying to say something. Yeah, sure. Brain can live without oxygen for more than a minute. That's a long time, buddy boy. How'd you like to see your own body and know you're dead? The jogger in that scene is Albert Finney. He plays the police officer in charge of the case. This is his first movie in quite a while. Through a lot of complicated detective work, he begins to suspect, almost against his own will, that wolves are responsible for this series of killings. And he's right. But these are not ordinary wolves. They're a highly intelligent race of creatures who consider the urban renewal plans for the South Bronx to be an attack on their ancestral homelands. They lived there back when the Bronx was covered with forest land. In this scene, Finney and fellow police officers Diane Zanora and Dick O'Neill are stalked by wolves. And in some shots, the director uses a special visual process to suggest the wolves' reaction to smells and body heat. Come on, Dewey. Car's over here. The theory is they can hide in that modern office building because wolves can't run elevators. Well, that's not necessarily true. These are real smart wolves. <laughs> the last time I saw a thriller about ecological concerns, it was the awful prophecy. Remember that oh, one? Yeah. Yeah. With the chemically polluted giant bears in the <laughs> North Woods? Wolfen is a much more intelligent film than that, more successful in combining its thriller ingredients with its serious message. I also like the visual approach used by its director, Michael Wadley, to represent the wolves' point of view in this movie. He uses a quick-moving camera It's close to the ground, suggesting the wolves' stalking techniques. And we also saw in that last scene a negative photographic image that sometimes shimmers to give us a wolf's-eye view of the world. 
Wolfen is thoughtful, gloomy, scary, and a pretty good film. I admired it. I think you hit everything that I like about the picture, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked it as a straight thriller. Sometimes when films have a message to give, uh -huh. they lose track of the thriller, and they get wrapped up in the message. This film was a good thriller, and I think can be enjoyed on that level. Mm -hmm. Also, I sort of like the message quality of the film, that the sins of the fathers, things that were done a long time ago, well, it's, the score, final score hasn't mm -hmm. been written yet. I like that uh, angle to it. I also like the last thing you mentioned, which is about the wolf point of view. Uh -huh. One of the things that interests me about movies is just how strong point of view is, how important it is. And literally, as we watch the film, low angle, through wolves' eyes, mm -hmm. we begin to sympathize with them. It even works at that level. Very good mm -hmm. film. The wolves are looking out from the edge of buildings. They're coming back like this. They're jumping back. I like that. I also like the narrative complexity that Widely uses in the film. Not only does he tell the story from the point of view of the wolves and from the point of view of the police officers, but other characters, American Indians and other people like that, are introduced. And it's all, instead of telling the story where this is the problem and now here is the solution, yeah. it's like he's trying to capture a whole moment in time. It's a very interesting film. Also, this movie is more interested in the mood of its story than it is in a simple ending. Mm -hmm. Who's going to survive? Who's going to die? This is a real whole world picture. Yeah. It's too bad that the studio isn't really too big on this movie, I don't think, and it's not getting a real good distribution around the country. People who are interested in it are going to have to look for it and move fast when it opens in their cities. Mm -hmm.